the NASA's Perseverance Mars rover has seen been something that no one has ever seen. The Mars rover was able to drill a hole on the Martian rock and shared photos of the scratched surface. This is part of the rover's mission to collect and bring back the samples. Perseverance was designed to serve several missions and features new technologies which we will discuss today. You're watching Astropy, and today we'll share everything you need to know about NASA's Perseverance rover, but make sure you hit that subscribe button. Perseverance, also nicknamed as Percy, is a car-sized Mars rover designed to explore parts of Mars. It was launched on the 30th of July, 2020, and landed on Mars on February 18th, 2021. Perseverance rover was designed by NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory and has a similar design to its predecessor rover, Curiosity. It carries seven primary payload instruments, 19 cameras, and two microphones. It also carries mini helicopter Ingenuity, an experimental aircraft, and the first human-powered flight on another planet. So far, Ingenuity has covered 15 powered flights on another planet. We'll talk about Ingenuity later on, but let's get back to the Perseverance for now. The Perseverance rover was launched to investigate about the ancient Martian environments capable of supporting life and seeking out the evidence of former microbial life existing in those environments. It includes collecting rock and soil samples and testing oxygen production from the Martian atmosphere for future crewed missions. According to NASA, Perseverance's mission has four main science goals. They are looking for habitability, which includes identifying the past environments that were capable of supporting life. The next goal is seeking out biosignatures like signs of possible past life in Mars, which may be still preserved inside of a rock or the surface of Mars. The third goal is to cache the sample and collect core rock and store them for future studies. Last but not least is the mission to prepare for the next human visit, which includes testing the oxygen production on Mars. Now let's talk about the design and the limits of the Perseverance rover. The Perseverance rover shares similar designs to its predecessor rover, the Curiosity. The two rovers have similar body plans, landing system, crew stage, and power system. However, the Perseverance rover had some improved designs. The rover's wheel is more robust and more durable. As Curiosity's wheel sustained some damage during the mission, NASA made more durable aluminum wheels with reduced width and greater diameter. The wheels are also covered with cleats for traction and curved titanium spokes for springy support. The heat shield of the Perseverance was made with phenolic impregnated carbon ablador, which allowed it to withstand temperatures of up to 2,400 degrees Fahrenheit. The Perseverance features longer and stronger 2.1 meter arms with elaborate rock coring and sampling mechanisms. There's also a secondary arm hidden below the rover that helps to store the chalk sized samples. The combination of the larger instrument and the new technologies made the Perseverance heavier, weighing 1,025 kilograms compared to the Curiosity at 900 kilograms, a 14% increase in weight. What puts life into this car-sized metal is radioisotope thermoelectric power generator, which uses 4.8 kilograms of the plutonium-28 and has a half-life of 87.7 years. It generates around 110 watts of electricity, which will decrease throughout the mission. Unlike solar panels, this provides engineers with significant flexibility in operating rover even at night, during the dust storms, and throughout the winter. Let's take a look at the computing power of the rover. The Perseverance uses BAE system radiation hardened single board computer based on power PC750. The computer contains 128 megabytes of volatile DRAM, which runs at 133 megahertz. The flight software runs on VXWorks operating system, which is able to access four gigabytes of non-volatile memory on a separate card. The rover relies on three antenna for telemetry, all of which are relayed through the spacecrafts currently orbiting around Mars. The primary ultra-high frequency antenna sends data from the rover at maximum rate of 2 megabits per second. Just like a human's brain, the computer on Perseverance registers the vital signs of the rover, like power, temperature, along with everything that keeps rover alive. The main control loop consistently checks the system to ensure the rover is both able to communicate and it remains thermally stable at all times. It adjusts the body temperature accordingly and then records the power generation. The Perseverance features two computers, one of which is normally asleep. In the unlikely case of a problem, the second computer can be awakened to take over control and continue the mission. Let's have a look on the first ever helicopter launched on another planet, Ingenuity. The Perseverance rover didn't cover the journey from Earth to Mars alone. It was accompanied by the Ingenuity. 
The sole purpose of taking flight on another planet is a technology demonstration to test powered controlled flight on another world for the first time. It was a very controlled first flight in the extremely thin atmosphere of Mars. Although the gravity on Mars is one third that of Earth's, its atmosphere is only 1% as thick, making it much harder to generate lift. The helicopter weighs about 1.8 kilograms and is 0.49 meters high. The rotor system spans about 1.2 meters and counter-rotating blades spin about 2,400 RPM. It is equipped with computers, navigation sensors, and two cameras. NASA mentioned that the project is solely a demonstration of technology and is not designed to support the Perseverance mission. The Perseverance rover has spent 7,039 hours since landing and covered 2.67 kilometer distance as of the 26th of October, 2021. The sample collected by the Perseverance will be returned to Earth if everything goes well. The rover makes several observations before collecting the sample, and once the sample is collected, it gets sealed and stored in the rover until the mission team determines where and when it will deposit the sample on the Martian surface. Another mission will now have to be sent to Mars to collect those samples and launch them back to Earth. Right now, NASA wants that mission to hit Mars in 2026, with the sample returning to Earth by 2030. For the first time ever, Perseverance rover has recorded the sounds of Mars through its microphone. Here's the sound of the rover traveling through the surface of Mars. This is the sound of a helicopter flying on Mars. The Perseverance rover has a laser which drills a hole into Mars rocks by zapping. Here's the sound of the laser zaps on Mars rocks. Lastly, this is the sound of wind on Mars. Perseverance landed on Jezero Crater, which is a very interesting place and believed to be filled with water once. After launch engineers tested equipments on Perseverance for 14 sole days, one sole day means one solar day on Mars, after 14 days, Perseverance takes first footsteps onto Mars and stops to look back at its first step on Mars. On Sol 31, Perseverance dropped Derby Shield, protecting the helicopter, and drove away. In an area named Van Seal Overlook, where Perseverance will retreat to watch the flights, the whole deployment process took about six days. Once the helicopter was deployed, Perseverance took a quick selfie with its partner and drove away. On April 20th, or Sol 60, Perseverance converts some of the Martian atmosphere to oxygen as a test. A toaster-sized piece of equipment aboard the rover called Moxie, in one hour it processed enough oxygen to keep an astronaut alive for 10 minutes. This was just a test and the equipment can be scaled for future human visits. This method of oxygen production will be crucial during the human visit on Mars. Mars holds a lot of the mystery to the formation of our solar system and is a valuable place for exploration as it can be reached within six to seven months. One of the most crucial features of humanity is our curiosity about life, the universe and how things operate. Exploring space provides a means to satisfy our thirst for knowledge and helps to improve our understanding ourselves and our place in the universe. Mars can help us learn more about our home and uncover details of evolution and history of Earth and other planets in our solar system. We're planning to make a series of episodes to discuss the Mars Perseverance mission, so let us know if you're interested in that. This video was sponsored by people like you. If you found any value in this content, consider liking and subscribing to our channel. Also, don't forget to download our Android app from the Play Store. We'll have a link in the description box below.
We have a lot of exciting videos coming in the future, so be sure to hit that bell icon to get updated. Till then, stay safe and we'll see you in our next video. Goodbye.